So uh, I just wanted to kind of set a frame for everything we're doing tonight, uh, things that, that aren't exactly specific techniques or some or answer things. Uh, understand, I started teaching in 1982. There were no fundamentals. There, the only book that was out there was a book on writing for radio, <laughs> for old radio in the 30s and 40s. That was the best book on comedy that was out there. It was in the library, and I stole it. I still have it to this very day. <laughs> But that only, it was nothing. Uh, there were, you know, it wasn't anything that was really helpful. It's like, like the fundamentals. People would say, well, this is kind of what I do. Why don't you try to do that too? So uh, when I started teaching, it, it, it became very problematic because, uh, you know, I wanted to teach something specific. And at first I was just teaching my opinion. I'll tell you what's funny, what's not funny, and I'll tell you how to rewrite it until I ran into one strong student that said, no, that's your way, that's not my way. I wanna learn how to do this my way. And then I, that was the hit, where it hit home, where I went, oh, wow, he's right. Uh, my sense of humor isn't better than his sense of humor. My sense of humor is mine, and that's it. And that's when I asked the question, well, if I'm gonna teach joke writing, well, what's a joke? And that's where it started. And, and for the next 15 years, I studied and read and just went through. I created a joke diagram that I destroyed 250 times because someone would say, what about this joke? And I'd go, crap. And I'd have to you know, add it in until I figured out the things that worked for it, that, that included all humor. And, to, you know, and so I've had it for some time now, and we teach it, and it's very powerful once you understand how jokes work. Uh, so the fundamentals are really, I, I do a taxonomy, this is only part of it, taxonomy means categories. We, it's, it's principles, uh, the techniques and skills. In other words, I have categories. There's principles which are like guiding principles, like the most important thing about stand-up comedy is your relationship with the audience. That drives a bunch of other ways that you perform, et cetera, et cetera. So that the principles, the techniques are the way you do it. The skills is your ability to actually do it. Let me show you a model of what I actually do when I develop these over the years. This is the model I developed for doing it is I identify a technique or a principle that somebody does. I'll sit and see somebody and go, oh, that person's doing this. Like, for instance, uh, watch the comic one time and he misunderstood. He was uh, doing crowd work, if you know what I mean. Crowd work. Hello, what's your name? What do you do for a living? And he misunderstood what the person said. And I went, oh, that's a technique. Okay, then I went and created an exercise. So I got my students to, to one to tell a story and then the other person to continuously try to misunderstand them in every possible turn to practice it. And then they practiced it and practiced it and practiced it. So when he got up later and he started to do some uh, crowd work, in the middle of that crowd work, he, you know, he, he used it. You know, oh, wow, now it becomes a skill that you can do. Everything I teach follows this model. My job is really this first part. That's the hard part is identifying what, what I or other comedians or joke writers, com comedy writers are doing. What are they doing there? Exactly, what is that? Identify. Sometimes it has a name. If it doesn't have a name, I give it a name. There's a lot of them that just didn't have names. Uh, comics knew them. They'd go, oh, yeah, I kind of do this or I kind of do that. They kind of knew it, or they gave it a metaphorical name, but it was never, uh, you know, official. The exercise is what I create, and if you do that exercise, you now can start to do that as a skill. And then when you go out in the real world and go and do your stage time, because there's no substitute for stage time, you've got some very specific things you can practice and then apply them to your own sense of humor. See, that's the difference. Techniques, principles, skills, you apply them to your own sense of humor.